Hey, what's up everyone? It's Cole Jensen, the Ace, or Cole Ace Jensen. I don't know what I'm going to rebrand my channel yet because I'm trying to fit a theme of aviation, cars, and entrepreneurship. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the grill and also take off the front bumper of Audi S5 or Audi A5 models. So if you can see here, I got my current grill, which has this awful tinfoil thing going on. It looks really, really crappy. I think it just got kind of wrecked from the sun and this was only on like 2013 or so uh, Audi year models so if you have anything newer it shouldn't be an issue but you might have this problem or maybe you just need a new grill or you're trying to change the grill in general uh, so for mine like I said I got this tinfoil thing going on and my new grill does not look at that it's quite the difference there well at least I can see the difference it might be hard to tell on camera uh, but then this I'll just be able to resell maybe somebody will black it out or do something with it so it's all good. Uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna do my best to show you guys how to do this. All right, changing the grill on the Audi S5. You're gonna take off both front tires and you're gonna come in here and there's gonna be four torque screws that you have to get out. So I already got one, two, getting the third one out right now. That one's done. Three, and then there's that last fourth one. All right, the reason you want to take off uh, these four screws, not those two, I don't think you need to do those, um, but back here you can see the fog light, uh, so you have to disconnect that. Okay, update, you are going to want to take off uh, this first one, this little clip right here. It's not too bad, you just kind of got to go with it. Um, but the reason is uh, because you open this up, and then can you see those two bolts in there they are both 10 millimeter there's one on the top i'm dead center on it right now and now i move down there's another one those two connect to that so uh, this i was unaware of which is like the biggest pain of this job so far so those two bolts you need to get at which they're 10 millimeter again coming up on the top side you got four of these guys You gotta just, you just press them in. Fuck. Oh yeah? What are you doing? Vlogging. Vlogging hard. What are you looking at? What are you, what are you looking at? Jesus. Caught that. See, if you do it properly, you just push in. And then you can just lift up. This is a terrible example. Just a little bit more. There we go. See, and then it comes out like that. Store those to the side. All right, you got those four out, then this whole thing should just kind of come off. There's some plugs in there. There we go. Next thing you're gonna wanna get once you get that off is this little plug thing. So it'll be attached to the side or you just kind of slide it out and then you have to actually get the plug. And I don't know if this is the horn or what, but this is connected to the grill, so just make sure to get that. Then there's two screws here, that one and that one that you're gonna have to remove to get the grill out. Up next is down below. You've gotta get this screw out, which I just found out that I guess I was missing one there. And then there's four at the front, if I can actually focus, see that one right there? This one is connected to uh, the front bumper, as is this one. And then there's two more mirroring that on the other side. So four of these little torque ones, which I think are T20s, they're the same as I used for all the other torque screws. Um, I don't even know if they're torque screw, maybe it's the wrong damn term, but whatever. Uh, and then there's that other one, which is over there, also mirroring on the side. So six total. So this one is what's underneath the bumper. And then this is the other one, which is a very strange sort of screw, which I guess I'm missing one on one side. So it's probably not that big a deal. This video is sponsored by New Belgium. Just kidding. No, it's not. But I wish it was. <sighs> Delicious. Can I just say that there's no better way to work on your car 
and during your vehicle dynamics and suspension design class, right? Online, COVID-19, and working on the Audi. Also a beautiful day. All right, I got the other side all done. So now this thing should lift up pretty easy. And it's looking good other than one thing I have in the front, which I'm unaware of what that is. So your fog lamp, uh, the wire here may be connected still. Other than that, there you go. The front is off. Pretty sweet. All right, I got the front end off. This is what it looks like. May look like your car got into a front end collision uh, symmetrically, but it didn't. I guess this is some common thing they did, which is kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, this is what the front looks like. It's going to be a perfect time to clean up all that junk under there. Not that that really affects anything anyways. But now I'm going to work on getting this grill out, which should be pretty simple. Uh, I think, especially if you have a new one, you should be able to see where all the clips are. So it should be no problem. Alright, here's what the inside looks like. Uh, there is a lot of clips. You can see up here on the top, if it ever focuses. God, why is it such a struggle? So there's a clip and it's not those other ones. Those ones, maybe you can just take the grill, I think actually comes apart. Um, but it's actually right here in the black, these clips. So those all along the top, uh, there's some on the sides as well. And then along the bottom, so clips all around. And then there are a bunch of torque screws all around. I think there's only one or two on the sides six to eight on top and four to six on bottom. And you'll see where they are. Uh, the only ones that are tricky are up top. Just because they're actually within. I already took out one. Oh. Come on. There you go. See, you can see it in there. So it's a little sneaky, but that is how you take the grill off, and then the new one is just the reverse. You just set it and snip it into place, get the screws on there, and I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. All right, I finally got the old grill off. Took longer than I wanted it to, of course. Putting the new one in should be a lot easier. Um, so yeah, the clips are a pain. Uh, major key though, do not forget there is actually, see these two holes right here? There's actually screws in there holding the grill in and that's where most of my resistance was coming from. I kind of figured there was something but I couldn't figure out where they were but they're in there. So make sure to also screw those out. Alright as you can see I got the new grill on there and I got it all clipped and screwed in so it's really nice. It's going to make a huge difference on the car. Uh, one thing to note, all these screws on here, I already mentioned uh, the two sneaky ones uh, behind the logo. Uh, but there's two shorter screws, and I believe they're the corner ones. So up here and then on the other. So the top corners have the two shorter screws of the bunch. So I'm going to cl continue uh, cleaning up this inside. And then I'm going to put everything together just in reverse. And then I'll show you the finished product. So we'll see you later. Finishing touches happening here. You can see you got the new grill. Looks freaking awesome. Love that. I uh, got this side to get the fog lights and the bolts in and all the screws. Um, so this side is good to go. Uh, I got to connect to this thing. This is actually the home link. So for your garage door opener, that's what that's for. So I got to remember to connect that. Uh, and then, yeah, got to throw the tire on. I'm cleaning the rim. Uh, so I'll throw the rim back on, and then I'll jack up this side, get this one off, and then I'll be good to go and get everything all finalized, which is exciting.
there you go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front now. Oh man, beautiful. So that was about a three to four hour job, but I was also cleaning my rims. So I think if you're pretty good, you should be able to do it in two to three hours. And again, here's the other rim for comparison. Or sorry, not the other rim, the other grill for comparison. Just that tin foil just looks crappy. So someone can black it out, take off that foil, and then that'll work. But for me, I like a nice chrome. All right, this was my Audi S5, A5 uh, front bumper and grill tutorial, though it wasn't really much of a tutorial. It was more of just uh, showing you where stuff is so you can try to figure it out yourself. Uh, but I hope it was helpful or interesting, and thank you for watching.